edition of the Art Folder, brought to you by Aaron and myself. Have you ever wondered about Gothic architecture? How the buildings were built and what materials were used? Hang on, those great Renaissance buildings were fascinating as well, Aaron. Their materials, their style, the achievements accomplished. Now Paul and myself will discuss and debate these matters for you on the Art Folder. Architecture. It's all around us and it has been for many years. So here we are looking back a few centuries. Now we'll have a look at early Renaissance. Philippa Brunelleschi, 1377 to 1446, is said to have founded the Renaissance style of architecture. The architecture was a major part of the flourishing of the art generally. Renaissance architecture was characterized by artists and town planners all involved in a quest for the ideal. As we know, Renaissance architecture started off But Brunelleschi not only studied Renaissance architecture, but acquired a knowledge of ancient Roman architecture and classical architecture. With this knowledge, he derived the information to form Renaissance architecture. Then there is the Gothic period. The word Gothic was derived from the word Goth, which is a term of abuse in barbaric language. The Gothic period was a time span between 1150 AD and 1550 AD. The Gothic period followed the medieval period, or the Romanesque period, and was then followed by the early Renaissance period. The Gothic period then continued throughout the early Renaissance and on into the High Renaissance. Renaissance style and vice versa. Religious beliefs also had a major effect on the styling of Gothic buildings. Stained glass windows were a major part of all Gothic buildings. The materials used to build Gothic buildings varied a lot depending on the surrounding climate and the geography. In Europe in the medieval times, wood was plentiful along with quarries of sandstone and limestone. So, without, so with this outcome they combined all materials into one building. In general, medieval Gothic buildings were big wooden structures with, with steep roofs 
and stone walls before they capping it off a beautiful building. The Renaissance buildings materials used varied a lot depending on the landforms as well. But basically the materials used were a lot like the Gothic ones. This was because the early Renaissance period just followed the Gothic period. Therefore, the same type of materials were available. architecture was a direct expression of structure, the stonework of the Renaissance developed into a precise image of classic views. Although stone played a part in furnishing the architecture of the Renaissance, it was mostly used as a dressing material and not in strictly functional sense. In this week's edition of the Art Folder, we gained new information to Encyclopedia Britannica, issue 14, which is printed in United States in the year of 1986 and was printed by Encyclopedia Britannica. And The Principles of Architecture by Michael Foster, published by New Burlington Books, London, 1989. That's all for this week's edition of The Art Bye. Yeah, 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 yeah